Calimera everyone and welcome to Calimera USA. We have a great show in store for you, all things that are summer. We're going to cook with Maria Loy, we're going to dress with Katrina Mitsiliotis, we're going to fly to LA for the Greek Film Festival, and we're going to check out the most beautiful destinations of Greece. Right now we're going to cut to Maria Loy and when we come back, Fashion with Katrina. Λοιπόν, έχει έρθει το καλοκαίρι και δεν μπορούσαμε να κλείσουμε την εκπομπή χωρί τη Μαρία Λόι. Η Μαρία πάντα μα περιποιεί, πάντα μα δείχνει ωραίε και νόστιμε healthy, νόστιμε yeah. γεύσει. Μαρία, μου ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ που μα καλέσε πάλι και θέλουμε να δούμε τι ωραίο θα μα φτιάξει σήμερα. Τι Εγώ σα ευχαριστώ και του αγαπάω όλου αυτού του Έλληνε που μου λένε και τόσα καλά λόγια για το κανάλι σα. Μπράβο, είναι πολύ ωραίο. Πολύ ωραίο. Πολύ ωραίο Γιατί είσαι αυτό. εσύ και του δείχνει ωραίε συνταγέ. Όχι, Βρεγιάννα μου, είναι ένα οργανωμένο θέμα πλέον. Συγχωρεί που τα λέω, αλλά Τι πρέπει να πω. Τι ωραία συνταγή μας έχει λοιπόν, φτιάξει για το καλοκαίρι. Κοίταξε να δεις. Αυτή η συνταγή είναι από το βιβλίο μου, mm -hmm. που βγαίνει τώρα τον Οκτώβριο, με τη Harper Collins. Ετοιμαστείτε, ναι. το πάρετε. Και έχω να σου πω ότι παρότι το ζητήσανε ήδη για να έχουν την πρώτη εμφάνιση και άλλα κανάλια, ε, όχι μόνο ελληνικά, γιατί θα βγει αυτό, καθώ καταλαβαίνει, θα βγει και στο ABC, CBS, παντού. Βέβαια. Είπα, δεν γίνεται, είμαι Ελληνίδα. Αγαπάω τη Γιάννα. Προσέξτε, <laughs> εδώ πρώτα βγήκε η είδηση ότι βγαίνει το βιβλίο το Οκτώβριο. Ναι. Μαρία Λόι, ναι. αποκλειστική συνέντευξη αυτή τη στιγμή. Και και είναι μία... και πολύ καλό για τα ελληνικά προϊόντα, ναι. γιατί ο τίτλο του βιβλίου είναι The Greek Diet. Beautiful. Ναι, δεν είναι Μαρία Λόι, γιατί εντάξει. Αρκετά να Όλοι σε ξέρουμε, όνομα, Μαρία μου, δεν χρειάζεται Ευχαριστώ τώρα πολύ, το όνομά σου, καλά. μόνο το ο τίτλος και το όνομά να σου. Να είσαι καλά. Λες. Λοιπόν, τι θα κάνουμε, σκέφτηκα. Τι έχουμε, δεν έχουμε ένα κοτοπουλάκι πάντα στο σπίτι μας. Το έχουμε και ειδικά στήθο. Και άμα δεν έχουμε, πάμε και το παίρνουμε εκεί δίπλα. Όπως λέω εγώ, στην Αστορία έχει τόσο πολύ ωραία μαγαζιά πλέον, παιδιά. Και γενικά δηλαδή και σε όλα τα μέρη, α, έχω να σου πω, δεν ήξερα ότι φαίνεται το κανάλι σου και κάτω προς το, προς το South, στην Αμερική. Μας, δι μας δείχνουν και εκεί, αλλά μας δείχνουν τώρα... Δεν ξέρω και... πού βγήκε αυτό. Θα βγούμε και στο RCA τον Σεπτέμβριο, όλη η Αμερική θα μας έχει. Ναι, και... αλλά εκεί μου είπανε ναι. ότι είδα την εκπομπή και τους λέω πώς το είδατε αυτό, δεν το έχω κάνει πουθενά άλλου, δεν είναι σε Αμερικάνικο κανάλι. Αμερική. Όχι μου λέει, στο ελληνικό σε είδαμε. Λοιπόν, να δώσουμε και χαιρετισμού κάτω εκεί πέρα στο Down South τη Αμερική. Ναι, λοιπόν. Και τι έχουμε τώρα, λέμε ένα γιαουρτάκι, δεν το θέλουμε, το θέλουμε και το έχουμε πάντοτε γιατί το γιαούρτι είναι η πρωτεΐνη που πρέπει να τρώμε καθημερινά. Τώρα τα ανακαλύψανε στην Αμερική, εμείς το έχουμε ανακαλύψει από τους παππούδες μας. Σε το. Πάντα πρώτοι είμαστε οι Έλληνες, Πάντα παιδιά. Πρώτη. Και να είμαστε πρώτοι και μην πτωείστε που σας λένε τι γίνεται στην Ελλάδα, πες κοιτάξτε τι είμαστε οι Έλληνες, πόσες χιλιάδες χρόνια είμαστε, εδώ προχωράμε. Λοιπόν, έχουμε τώρα το. Το κοτόπουλάκι και τι έχουμε και το γιαούρτι, είπαμε. Αυτό το κοτόπουλο το κόβεται έτσι σε φιλέτα. Και στήθο, βλέπετε, μα έχει βγάλει το λίπος. Ναι. Γιατί δεν χρειάζεται το λίπος να το φάμε. Λοιπόν, έχουμε το γιαούρτι εδώ. Και τα μικρά φιλετάκια, μην τα πετάτε. Και το βάζουμε, παιδιά, στο γιαούρτι. Είστε. Το γιαούρτι μαλακώνει πάρα πολύ το κρέα γενικά και το κοτόπουλο πιο πολύ. Και αν μπορείτε να το αφήσετε 3-4 ώρες, θα μαλακώσει. Λοιπόν, έτσι. 3-4 αλλά... ώρες ναι, μέσα στο γιαούρτι. Μέσα στο γιαούρτι, αλλά στο ψυγείο, ε. Okay. Όχι εκτός. Mm -hmm. Λοιπόν, το ανακατεύουμε και τα αφήνουμε... Αντί για λάδι, λοιπόν, γιαούρτι. Ναι. Και αυγό, δεν θέλουμε ναι. αγιά. Γιαούρτι, σκέτο. Μπράβο. Σκέτο. Λοιπόν, πάει αυτό. Αυτό όμως τώρα, έχουμε πιάσει το ομό για κοτόπουλο, δεν πρέπει να το χρησιμοποιήσουμε ξανά, γιατί δεν θέλουμε τη σαλμονέλα. Γι' αυτό θα το βγάλω και θα το βάλω στον νεροχύτη. Όπως είπαμε, αυτό θα το βάλουμε στο ψυγείο και εγώ έχω έτοιμο άλλο. Έτοιμο. Έτοιμο, Βλέπεις? λοιπόν. Πω, πω, ωραίο. Και οπότε το έχεις τρεις ώρες περιμένουμε, ναι. παιδιά. Φάγαμε ή πιάμε καφέ. <laughs> Τα είπαμε. Τα είπαμε ότι άφησα το φιτζάνι. <laughs> και βλέπω πάρα πολλά ναι. ωραία μπαχαρικά. Mm. Κοίταξε να Είναι απλό. Αλάτι, μουστάρδα, σουσάμι 
και σκόρδο. σκόρδο. Το απαραίτητο για μένα. Σκόρδο το απαραίτητο που λέω. Βέβαια. Τσίχλα. Έχουμε και το... <laughs> Λοιπόν, όταν θες να φας σκόρδο, καταρχήν πρέπει να βγάλεις μέσα το τη φύτρα. Και έτσι... Και άλλο μυστικό. Δεν μυρίζει. Έτσι. Και όταν θα θέλεις να φας σκόρδο, μάσεις λίγο ελληνικό καφέ. Να είστε όμως σίγουροι ότι είναι ελληνικό σου καφέ. <laughs> λοιπόν, έχουμε εδώ, το βλέπεις. Mm -hmm. Τον άνηθο, γιατί ναι. θέλω να το πω αυτό. Το κρατάω με τις ρίζες του. Τα μυστικά της Μαρία Ελόη, παιδιά. Κάθε φορά που ερχόμαστε μυστικά. <laughs> Νούμερο 3 μυστικό. <laughs> Πάμε. Και γύρω ξεδαβείς. Ας χωμυρίζει. Μυρίζει ωραία. Άρα. Το χρειάζεσαι και τον άνηθο. Το κρύωμα να το φάω Σε πληροφορώ, αυτό που πρέπει να κάνεις για το κρύωμα, είναι να βράσεις ρίγανη. Ρίγανη. Ένα τσάι με ρίγανη. Θα δεις, έτσι έκανα εγώ. Θα σου, θα σου φύγει όλο αυτό ο πόνο που είναι και ο βρόχο. Ωραία. Και άλλο πράγμα που θα πρέπει να κάνει είναι τρει κουταλιέ μέλι, τρει κουταλιέ λεμόνι. Το χυμό. Για το κρύωμα. Για το κρύωμα. Ναι. Και σου φεύγουν όλα. Είδε εγώ. Αμέσω μου πέφτει. Αμέσω μου γιατρό. Λοιπόν, λοιπόν σε λεφτό. Οπότε μόνο είμαστε, ναι. είμαστε έτοιμοι τώρα για το τηγάνι. Έχω τώρα ένα καυτό τηγάνι. Καυτό. Sorry. Μην το πιάσει. Όχι. Εντάξει. Α, Καθόλου λάδι, τίποτα. Τίποτα. Δεν χρειάζεται. Μάλιστα μπορούμε να το σκουπίσουμε και όλες μία πετσετούλα το κοτόπουλα, αν θέλουμε. Ω, ωραίο. Καλά, είναι καταπληκτικό. Και αυτά τα παραθύλετα είναι καταπληκτικά και γίνονται και αμέσως. Μπορεί να τα δώσετε για τα πιτσιρίκια σας στο σπίτι. Μαρία μου, τώρα αυτό το βάζουμε στο τηγάνι για πόση ώρα. Τώρα θα το δεις. Να δεις τι ωραία που θα το φτιάξω εγώ στο τραπέζι. Λοιπόν, το βλέπεις αυτό, ναι. τώρα έχει κάνει τα marks αυτά που χρειαζόμαστε να πάρουμε, τις, α, τα σχέδια που λέω κι εγώ. Ναι. Να το. Είναι έτοιμο να το γυρίσεις από την άλλη πάλι. Και μόλις θα μπει μέσα στο φούρνο, και τα ξέρω. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Τώρα τα γυρίσουμε γρήγορα για την τηλεόραση, δεν θα καθίσουμε πολλή ώρα. Ε. Λοιπόν. Θα το βάλουμε στο φούρνο, αλλά πριν το βάλουμε στο φούρνο, θα πάρουμε λίγο αλάτι. Και αυτό το γιαούρτι κάνει μία κρούστα καταπληκτική επάνω, oh, oh. καταπληκτική. Λίγο σουσάμι. Μ' αρέσει το σουσάμι oh, εμένα. Και, εμένα. και είναι και πολύ υγιεινό, ε. Πάρα πολύ. Εκτός από το λάδι ελιάς, χρησιμοποιώ μόνο το σισαμέλο. Παιδιά, δεν ξέρω για εσάς, αλλά εγώ ναι. έχω τελαθεί με την κουζίνα της Μαρίας. Είναι υγιεινή. Λίγα, λίγες θερμίδες, δηλαδή λίγα λιπαρά ή να, να πω ε, μηδενικά. Ναι. Γιατί δεν μα χρειάζονται τα πολλά λιπαρά. Μα χρειάζονται να παίρνουμε τι βιταμίνες και όλε τι ουσίε από τι τροφέ που τρώμε. Και αυτό χρειαζόμαστε. Δεν και Όχι, δεν τα βάζω. Όχι πάνε. ακόμα. Τώρα μέσα. Τώρα θα βάλει τη ριγανίτσα μα. Ωραία. Ελληνική, ελληνική. Εντάξει. Τώρα, όπω είναι, εάν θέλουμε, συμπληρώνουμε και ελάχιστο λάδι. Δεν μου χρειάζεται όμω. Okay. Οπότε θα το βάλουμε κατευθείαν στο φούρνο. Έφυγε. Οκ. 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 Οπότε, μετά από πόσα λεπτά. Ε, τώρα πόσα, 12-15 λεπτά περάσανε, δεν είναι τίποτα. Μην πιάσει το τηγάνι γιατί είναι ζωστό. Λοιπόν, να το φάμε. Να το φάμε. Εύκολο θα το φάμε. Με τι θα το συνδυάσουμε αυτό. Τι θε να το συνδυάσει. Εγώ θέλω κάτι. Πράσινο. Πιο ελαφρύ, λίγο έτσι, λίγο τζατζίκι. Ω, oh, και δεν θα φάω τζατζίκι, κυρία μου, αλλά επειδή θέλει λίγο να. Να σου είναι το σκόρδο εδώ ναι. στο λαιμό σου. Ναι. Θα περάσει με μία σκελίδα σκόρδο αφού το κόψει. Κοίταξε, πρόσεξε. Ένα λεπτό. Κόβει το σκόρδο. Έχω και τα κουλούρια του Λάζαρου εδώ. Αχ, ωραία. Λοιπόν, κόβει το σκόρδο, το περνά λίγο από πάνω. Βλέπει. Ναι. Έχει τη μυρωδιά του. Ναι. Αλλά δεν χρειάζεται τίποτε άλλο. Τίποτα. Τίποτα από αυτό. Λοιπόν, τι άλλο μπορούμε να κάνουμε. Θα φάω καμία σαλάτα, δεν κατάλαβα. Θα σου δείξω. Περίμενε. Είναι τόσο με να το Το κοτόπουλο μόνο έτσι στεγνώ, θα πεθάνουμε. Θα μα μείνει στο λαπό. Εγώ το κόβω. Η κυρία με το ψαλίδι. Κόβω έτσι. Δεν χρειάζεται ούτε πιάτο τώρα θα το βάλουμε. Μέσα πιάτο. Εντάξει. Θα βάλουμε λίγο άνηθο. Εδώ. Όχι πάρα πολύ. Δώσε μου λίγο λάδι. Λίγο λάδι. Λίγο λαδάκι, ναι. ναι. Λάδι για βάλε. Επιτέλους να βάλω το λάδι. Ε, γιατί πρέπει να το Ωραίο. χρησιμοποιούμε το λάδι ομό. 
Σωστό, λοιπόν, σωστό αυτό. Το φτιάχνει τώρα έτσι. Και το τρώω χρυσή μου. Ωπω. Εντάξει. Αγόρι, δεν το φά όλο εσύ. Μισό λεφτό. Μισό. Οπότε Κάτσε. το κάνουμε. Μπορεί να το κάνει και ρολά. Κοτοπουλάκια έτσι και ρολά. Με το μαρούλι. Κοίταξε τι ωραίο που είναι. Κοίταξε το βλέπει. Εδώ. Μπουκέ. Οπότε. Ε? Μπουκίτσε από κοτοπουλάκι ναι. με γιαούρτι. Mm -hmm. Άνηθο. Και τι βάζουμε μέσα σε ναι. μαρούλι. Και θα σου δώσω καλό ένα τύπο ακόμα. Μισό λεφτό το φάσει λίγο. Mm, Εσύ φάει. Λοιπόν, παίρνει τα κουλούρια. Και το κουλουράκι! Αυτά. Περίμενα. Παίρνει τα κουλούρια αυτά που μου φέρνει ο φίλο μου ο Λάζαρο. Ναι. Κάνει έτσι, το χωρίζει λίγο. Ναι. Παίρνει το, το κάνει εδώ, μέσα. Πάει το κοτοπουλάκι εδώ. Okay. Παίρνει και λίγο μαρουλάκι. Και το κάνει σάντουιτ. Και το κάνει ένα σάντουιτ. Βάζει και λίγο λάδι ελιά. Ωπ, sorry. Μπορεί να χρησιμοποιεί να βάλει και γιαούρτι αν θέλετε. Εντάξει. Βάζει και λίγο λάδι εδώ. Και το τρώω. Εγώ θα φάω το κουλούρι. Και εγώ το κουλούρι θέλω. Έλα. Άντε, πάρε το κουλούρι. Πάρε το κουλούρι. Εντάξει, πάρε και λίγο. Πάρε και κουλούρι και το. Δεν είναι απαραίτητο. Δεν είναι ωραίο. Σκομυρίζει. Ωραίο κουλούρι. Κουλουράκι. Θεσσαλονίκη στο κουλούρι. Λοιπόν, την υγειά σου. Την υγειά σου. Την υγειά σα. Καλό καλοκαίρι. Για σε όλου καλό καλοκαίρι. Το καλύτερα κρυμμένο μυστικό στην Αστόρια είναι το Michael's Restaurant. Εδώ και 35 χρόνια προσφέρουμε στην ομογένεια καλό φαγητό σε προσιτές τιμές. Χρησιμοποιούμε τα πιο αγνά και φρέσκα υλικά στην κουζίνα μας. Ανοιχτό 24 ώρες σας περιμένουμε για breakfast, lunch και dinner. Επισκεφτείτε μας στη διεύθυνση 3317 Broadway στην Αστόρια. Τηλέφωνο 718-726-7474. Το πλακάκι έχει ξεχωριστή θέση στο χώρο. Είναι σύμβολο ποιότητας, δύναμης και αισθητικής. Στη Quality Stone Corp θα βρείτε αυτό που ζητάτε. Με αστηρευτικά μας σε πλακάκια δαπέδου, μπάνιου και κουζίνες. Επιλέξτε ανάμεσα στα ποιοτικότερα κομμάτια της αγοράς στις καλύτερες τιμές. Επισκεφτείτε την έκθεσή μας και βρείτε αυτό που σας ταιριάζει. Quality Stone Corp, 3527 Venom Boulevard, Long Island City, 718-204-8045. Εκεί που η ελληνική μουσική συναντά το παραδοσιακό φαγητό. Επιλέξτε Τζίμπος για μεσημεριανό για δείπνο σε μια ατμόσφαιρα γεμάτη Ελλάδα. Κάθε Δευτέρα, Τετάρτη, Παρασκευή και Σάββατο απολαύστε τα εκλεκτά μας εδέσματα συνοδεία ζωντανής ελληνικής μουσικής. Ο χώρος προσφέρεται και για πάρτι. Διοργανώστε τη δική σας εκδήλωση που θα μείνει σε όλους αξέχαστη. 3005 Αστόρια Πούλοβαρ και τηλέφωνο για κρατήσεις και delivery 718 204 287. And now let's take a look at the latest trends in summer fashion through the eyes of Katrina Mitsaliotis, the fashion director of HollywoodLife.com. Katrina is an expert when it comes to celebrity fashion and style. Her commentary and red carpet critique on both national and international media outlets includes Extra, Access Hollywood, The Today Show, Fox 5, and NBC. And Katrina is here with us and I'm so excited to hear what's hot this season. Hi. How are you? I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy to be back. And you look gorgeous. You always Thank look you. great in fashion and style. <laughs> your hair looks great, your makeup. She's got it going on. She's going to tell us how to get it going on. Yes, definitely. And you have one of the looks on right now, Yana. You're in a bright color, coral. So coral and orange actually is one of the hottest colors. It's so funny because you know they have that show, Orange is the New Black. Yeah. And orange really is the new black for summer. We're seeing the color on everything from dresses to skirts to rompers and even pants. It's really bold, it's really bright, and it looks great this summer. And I think it looks good on everyone. I think the coral or orangey or even light, it's a color that everybody looks good in. It's so true. It really is. That bright color, it works on every skin tone, every complexion, and works even better with a tan after you get back from vacation. I know our dermatologists do not want to hear us say <laughs> but I'm sorry. We need that infrared, that healing, the light. I don't know, you just look better, you feel better. So self tanners are, are good. Yeah, they're amazing. There's so many great ones on the market. NARS makes one, Victoria's Secret even has a great one. Oh. St. Tropez has one and they're so easy to use. You know, you just rub them on, apply them and they can last for days and you really can get that glow, get a little vitamin D going on at home. Exactly, save your skin ladies.
40s, spray on uh, 30s and whatever, but get it ready for the summer and Katrina's going to get us ready. So I want to start with clothes before we go to the bikinis and the bathing suits. Let's start with what's in fashion, skirts, skirt lengths, skirt colors, what's going on? We're seeing a longer skirt this season. The midi skirt is back. It's back in a big way. So that's going to hit you right below the knee, a little bit of a T-length level. Like a and it looks skirt, great. It... Well, see, the great thing about it is you can wear it two ways. You could wear the really form-fitting pencil skirt that stops below the knees, or you could wear more of an A-line skirt if you like that better. It all depends on you know what your body type is. If you are very tall and thin and you want to accentuate that, go for the pencil skirt. Maybe you have more of an hourglass and you really Really want to cinch in your waist but kind of want to hide your hips then the a-line skirt is the way to go and the great thing about these skirts is you can really pair it with a cool different top so we'll rock it with the crop top the crop top was big last season it's no, back it's this it's season like the 80s. Like, i feel like i'm back in high school it's with the true crops crop and tops the rompers. yeah it's amazing though because you know the crop top gets a really modern update with the midi skirt because it balances out it shows some skin but it keeps it still tasteful and it's yeah. something that looks good on girls you know even even as you get older, it's a really nice way to make that trend a little more modern and less okay. showy. Good. But if you because know... we have to dress according to our age. Age appropriate, ladies, is very important. It definitely is. You don't want to be running around in short shorts if, you know, it's not the look for you. You don't want to be looking like you're a teenager. And there's so many chic ways to really rock the trends that will look great on everyone. I'm very personally, you know, I think that, I mean, I even watch, you know, the older I get, I'm like, oh, maybe this skirt is too short. Oh, maybe this top is like this. Or, But it's true. You, we have to be comfortable. We want to be in fashion for all you ladies over 40. We want to be in fashion and we want to, you know, be age appropriate with what we wear. And I like also the 50s look with the skirts that came out this year. Again, they were, they were big last year as well. Very sweet, right? Those, those kind of like puffy skirts. It's really feminine and really fun. All those A-line skirts, I completely agree with you. You're seeing that 50 silhouette, but it looks really modern with how you wear it. Like you can put it on with a really nice ankle strap sandal. It elongates your legs. Sometimes girls who are a little bit more petite would say, oh, I can't wear that. It's too overpowering. But that isn't the case at all. It actually looks really good on with you. We are if you wear it with the right shoe. Yeah, and now going back to shoes, I saw a comeback again in those spike heels. Again, very hot this summer, yes. and those nice sandals that we used to wear again back in the 80s. It's these really true. thin straps. We're seeing the 80s in the footwear definitely in a big white. We're seeing a lot of the ankle strap sandals, very delicate. We're seeing a lot of pointed toe pumps. It's all about the spike heel. We're not seeing so much platform anymore. Yeah, not a lot of platform. And I mean, it's a little bit less comfy maybe. It's a maybe. lot of shoe though. It's a lot of it shoe is. The platform. The platform is a lot of shoe. And especially when you're wearing these longer skirts, these fuller skirts, it's necessary that you wear a more dainty, sexier shoe. Right. Because you don't want to bog down the whole look. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Katrina, tell me about bathing suits. Bathing suits, we're seeing so many different things. It really seems to be the season of the one piece. It's back in a big way. That doesn't mean that you can't wear your bikinis on the beach. Retro bikinis are still in, those that come high-waisted, and you can never go wrong with a classic silhouette. When it comes to swimwear, it's really the place where you have to leave the trends behind and focus on what works for your body. Yeah. And that's important because a it lot is. of us, like if you're short-waisted, you should be wearing very low-waisted bikini, correct? It's true, yes. You know, you can't be wearing this retro bathing suit. It'll swallow you up and it'll do nothing for your figure, especially if you have a great waistline. You want to show that off. Yeah, so I like those hipsters. Now, the one piece is interesting, but is it something you would wear later on, like a late afternoon beach time or because you can't really tan with it. That's, I agree with you. <laughs> it's not the best for the tans, but it's great look for the body. If you're going. Looks yeah. good for your body. Makes beach you look to bar. Beach to bar, of course, when you're traveling to those Greek islands. <laughs> or whatever <laughs> island you're going to this summer, any island, yeah. the island here in Long Island, <laughs> um, definitely. So it's nice, you know, you can wear a very sexy monokini, something with cutouts, a plunging neckline, and then just throw on a sarong, yeah. and you're ready to go out. It looks like you just stepped off a boat. And sarongs are always in fashion. I mean, you, you, we always have a pareo, as we call it in Greek, right? And we chuck it in our bag, or it's it, because it's, it's always like handy. You want to wrap it and... 
It's so true, and I think it's one of my go-to tips that I always share with my readers and viewers, and it's funny because I definitely think it's a Greek thing that I picked up without even realizing it. I never leave home without a scarf in my beach bag because you can easily throw it on, and sometimes maybe you're wearing a more elaborate dress or cover-up, and there's nothing easier than throwing on a sarong and just going for a stroll, and sometimes women feel a little bit more confident if they're covering up a little bit, but that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice showing off your bikini, showing off your body, or interfering with getting a little sun. Exactly. Katrina, you're awesome. Five tips to our viewers for the summer and we'll close it off. Five tips for the viewers. It's important to find a silhouette that works for you when it comes to bathing suit shopping. So as cool as the trends look, really stick to what works on your body because if you feel confident, you'll look great when you hit the sand in style. I think it's important to invest in a really sexy shoe. Get an ankle strap sandal. It's something you can wear into the fall. It'll look great with a variety of outfits and it'll look great for cocktail attire as well. I also think try the midi skirt because there's so many different ways to rock it. If you go for a full 50 skirt, if you wear a more form-fitting pencil skirt, don't be afraid to lengthen that hemline. I also think to invest in the crop top. The crop top is here to stay. It's going to be here come fall too, so you can, you know, that summer crop top that you love with your high-waisted skirt, throw it on with a high-waisted trouser in the winter and you're ready to go. Wow, that's five. Okay. I think that's five. And makeup? For summer makeup, all you need is a great bronzer, a great self-tanner, and a great mascara. It'll really go the long way. And if you ever want to add a little bit of pop of color, a great bold lip. Awesome, Katrina. By the way, we're very proud of you that you represent Grace and you're on these, all these Thank wonderful you. major networks. Congratulations on everything. We're very proud of you. We hope to have you back here on Calimera for next season. Thank you so much. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to be traveling to Greece. Trade Fair Supermarkets. Φαγώσιμα από όλα τα έθνη. Οι καλύτερες τιμές στην πόλη. Εγγυημένη φρεσκάδα και οικονομία. Η μεγαλύτερη ποικιλία από επώνυμα ελληνικά προϊόντα. Δείτε τα εβδομαδιαία μας φυλάδια. Τα Trade Fair έχουν εκπτώσει καθημερινές προσφορές. Καλέστε μας ή επισκεφτείτε την ιστοσελίδα μας στο www.tradefair.com Ο Dr. Peter Patetsios είναι board certified γενικός ενδοκιχειρουργός και συνεργάζεται με το St. Francis και το North Shore University Hospital. Το πλήρες εξοπλισμένο μας ιατρείο προσφέρει όλες τις θεραπείες αγιακών παθήσεων, διαγνωστικούς υπερήχους όλων των αρτηριακών και φλεβικών ασθενειών, Θεραπεία της φλεβίτιδας με λέιζερ και σκληροθέραπη με εξαιρετικά αποτελέσματα και επεμβάσεις που προσφέρονται στο άνετο περιβάλλον μας. Ο Dr. Πατέτσιος και το προσωπικό μιλούν ελληνικά. Για ραντεβού επικοινωνήστε στο 516-570-6818. Είμαι πολύ επερήφανος που προσφέρω τις υπηρεσίες μου στους ανθρώπους που υποφέρουν. Κάνω το καλύτερο, εύχομαι υγεία σε όλους. Το United Brothers Fruit Market, γωνία 30 Avenue και 33ο δρόμο στην Αστόρια, έχει όλα τα εποχιακά και πευτικά, τόσο φρέσκα και λαχταριστά, σαν να βγήκαν από τον κήπο σα. Ανοιχτό 24 ώρε καθημερινά, σε 4.000 τετραγωνικά, προσφέρει μεγάλη ποικιλία από φρέσκα φρούτα και λαχανικά στι καλύτερε τιμέ. Και τώρα, αποκλειστικά για το United Brothers Fruit Market, τοπικέ φάρμε στο Long Island και Upstate New York θα παράγουν για μα εποχιακά φρούτα και λαχανικά, όπω ραδίκια, βλίτα, σέσκουλα, ντομάτε, φασολάκια, αγκινάρε, κουκιά και όλα τα φρέσκα μυρωδικά. Ροδάκι να μεγεύσει Ελλάδο και έντεκα ποικιλίε μήλων στο Apple House. Μας. Στο κατάστημά μα συνεχίζουμε να προσφέρουμε άριστη εξυπηρέτηση, καθαριότητα, τιμιότητα και εξαιρετική ποιότητα και για του πελάτε μα. 15 λεπτά πάρκι δωρεάν. Και μην ξεχνάτε, το United Brothers, γωνία 30 Avenue και 33ο δρόμο στην Αστόρια, ποτέ δεν είναι αργά, γιατί είμαστε πάντα ανοιχτά. Whether you're seeking a glamorous getaway or you want to immerse yourself in the Greek culture, Greece is the place for you. Its history, people, culture, mythology, breathtaking landscapes have attracted visitors throughout the ages and remains one of the most desired destinations throughout the world. Let's take a look at all that Greece has to offer. traveled all around Europe, but in fact I preferred Greece. 
for me, Greece is a little bit uh, paradise on earth. It's a wonderful country. You know, I've traveled before, but uh, I've never seen something like this. You know, it's beautiful. It's an island. It's crazy. This is the perfect summer holiday yeah. destination to come yeah. to. One of the most beautiful places I've been in my entire life. This is the best vacation spot that you can ever dream of. The sea's lovely, the beach is lovely. Mar. The sea, of course. I adore the sea. I love it. Um, it's very peaceful and restful and very blue. The sea is gorgeous. If you want to get uh, tan, you should come here. The sea is very clear. Clean, very, very clean. There's nothing that compares these beaches. There are some beautiful coves uh, in the area with turquoise water. It's fantastic. The beaches, the nightlife, everything is fantastic. The nightlife in Greece makes New York City look like a sleepy town. It's uh, very loud and uh, very lively. You guys definitely know how to enjoy yourselves. It's just very luxurious, I think, just being here. The pools, the beach, the spa, the shopping, everything looks lovely. The spa is amazing, it gives you all the facilities and all the treatment, what you need to relax and to really, really enjoy the wellness. For the money that we paid, we received everything and even more than uh, we expected. The facilities here are amongst the best in Europe. You can go hiking, you can go biking, you can go horseback riding. Well, the diving in Greece, what we have here is um, usually fantastic conditions. The kids have everything to do. She learned water ski. Even my wife I did. learned the mono ski. We like to go canoeing. Yeah. This is a good place for family. And they have really good food. The Greek food are yummy and scorchos. I think there's a fine art to eating in Greece. Lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Better prepared than in many other countries. The country has been very beautiful and the people are uh, very, very friendly. The Greek people are probably the friendliest in Europe. Most people can speak English, so it's good for us. They've been really welcoming. We live the culture in Greece, and we live the history. I like uh, visiting um, on ancient sites. It's cool to just be able to go so far back in time, places like this. This is the birth of uh, Western civilization. His middle name is Pericles. What more do you want? <laughs> Can't beat the culture, the landscape. We haven't missed our home at all. I don't want to go home. I would come back here. Oh sure, yeah, I'd definitely come back. I'd definitely come back. I don't want to leave. <laughs> it was worth coming. I have had the time of my life in Greece. Alexander. Suzanne. Max. Marie. Josh. Manon. Christine. Judith. Vincent. Alexa. Frederick. Hannah. Sylvie. Nick. Paige. Henry. And Murada. Ashley and Greece. New Greek TV was in Los Angeles for the 8th annual Greek Film Festival this year. Let's take a look at all the wonderful filmmakers that came from all around the world. together with Angeliki Giannakopoulos, she's my co-founder and it, start, it all started in 2004 when we realized that there is a want and a desire to show Greek films and there was no film presence, Greek film presence before in Los Angeles so we really filled that gap. 
This is the eighth year of the Greek Film Festival and I got involved a couple of years later on the, on the third, second and third festivals and been on board since then. Uh, it has grown. Every year it's growing more, uh, it attracts more films. Uh, this year we extended to five days of uh, programming and uh, we have, we're seeing more sponsors, we're seeing more support from the people, from organizations, from uh, filmmakers and we're very happy with the development and, and the continuation of the festival so far. This year we are proud sponsors of the, LN, the LA Greek Film Festival and uh, we're able to sponsor the film Passage into History and Nicoletta which were both wonderful films and we look forward to doing this again in the future. This is a great festival that showcases our Greek filmmakers. The more Hollywood executives that come here, the more co-production opportunities will open up. There's an awful lot of talent at the festival this year. We're all impressed with the quality of the films. There's a film cinema movement of young directors coming out of Greece that just blew us away. We, we, we blew them, they just blew us away, honestly. I, uh, I've been coming here for eight years, and I think um, it's really a tribute. I saw this born when Ursi and Gary Kiefer started talking about it those years ago. And it's wonderful to see it not only survive, including going through the crisis when some of the subsidy money dried up, um, but to, to really thrive and to become something unique and special that we look forward to every year. So it's really a great pleasure to be here. With your attendance, with your support and, and our sponsors and staff and volunteers, and your enthusiasm, uh, we are making this festival a festival to remember. And it's not the most successful festival in LA yet. Thank you all for that. So, do you love Greece? Yes, I've been there several times and Where, I love everywhere? it. Everywhere? No, mostly the island. Athens and Mykonos. Okay. He came with Thara and they had the best time there. I've been in the movie business for 35 years now. Uh, in New York, I produced When Harry Met Sally, uh, Shaft, Marcy X, School of Rock, and The Forgotten. Um, we all love it. Yeah, yeah, and um, I don't know. I mean, this is the first time I've ever been awarded anything other than, uh, you know, the stupidest guy in junior high. This year is an amazing film festival, opening and closing nights very well. I heard a lot of great films are around, a lot of shorts are doing very well. I'm very proud of the, the LAGFF as far as its progression every year becomes better and better as far as filmmakers, and especially coming from Greece, it's an amazing group that comes out every year. It's, it's one of the few uh, places in uh, Los Angeles where uh, Greek talent is magnified that we need to, because let's face it, we started in ancient times, this heritage. So it's nice to see that people from overseas as well and here being acknowledged. And uh, so I come to it now every year because it's a way of meeting Greeks other than going to church, if you know what I mean. Πολλών δεν τρόπων είδεν άστεα και νόν έβνον. Πολλά δογεν πόντο πάθεν άγια ον καταθυμών. Αρνήμενος είν τε ψυχήν και νος των εταίρων. Tell me, O oh muse, of that ingenious hero who traveled far and wide after he had sacked the famous town of Troy. But it's the, probably the best festival uh, in a couple of years that I know of. I've been coming. Why is that? The energy is so fun, and there's a lot of really fabulous people. And I don't know, being at Grauman's Egyptian, there's just a. a well, there's I know it's not Greek, but there's sort of a, a Greekish energy. Well, in there's the room, people, you know. You know and I think the, the Asian culture spirit. Well, yeah, I yeah. think the best thing about we'll the festival that. is that it brings oh. Greeks and everybody together, and it, it, you know, it's, it kind of solidifies. It's like we're all in this together, and it's a great community, and it's awesome. It brings the Greeks together. Okay. There's amazing films. The Greeks tell amazing stories. So we need more of these kind of festivals. But they, I, I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm presenting an award tonight. Uh, I was awarded the most sexiest Greek last year. Eat your heart out, John Stamos. 
fight and pronounce yogurt properly, John. The opening night was fantastic. I love it that it was done at the uh, uh, Egyptian theater in Hollywood. And it's sort of like so symbolic to bring to bring uh, Greek culture, Greek movies tonight, uh, uh, The Enemy Within, a Greek film to Hollywood. So it should be here at the Egyptian theater. I think that Alex and Aries are doing an amazing job. I meet such wonderful people here. You know, the one thing I will say about writing, you know, it's very hard and it's a thankless job, but it's the one discipline that's a meritocracy. Because, you know, if you're an actor or you want to be a director, someone else has to hire you. No one can stop you from writing. If you're willing just to sit down and do the work, you can write. And then if you write something people think they can make money off of or something people fall in love with, doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. So in the one sense, writing is the great equalizer. Η φυσιοθεραπεία είναι φήμη. Απαιτεί επαγγελματισμό και σωστή μέθοδο. Στο Arista Physical Therapy έχουμε αυτό που χρειάζεστε. Επισκεφτείτε τι σύγχρονε εγκαταστάσει μα και ξεκινήστε άμεσα το πρόγραμμα φυσιοθεραπεία. Οι έμπειροι φυσιοθεραπευτέ μα είναι στη διάθεσή σα για να αντιμετωπίσουν τα προβλήματά σα. Παρέχουμε προγράμματα φυσιοθεραπεία, ενεργοθεραπεία, βελονισμού και άλλων μεθόδων ολιστική προσέγγιση. Arista Physical Therapy. Σα βοηθάμε να απαλλαγείτε από τον πόνο και να νιώσετε πάλι ζωντάνια. Για τις ξεχωριστές στιγμές επιλέξτε το δώρο που σας ταιριάζει, Πολτάρα Gallery. 13 χρόνια κοντά στην ομογένεια με μοναδικές δημιουργίες για κάθε περίσταση. Γάμι, βαφτίσια, αραβώνες, πάρτι και σάουρς. Πολτάρα Gallery. 3451 Francis Louis Boulevard στο Bayside. Τηλέφωνο επικοινωνίας 718-961-2299. Για ηλεκτρονικές παραγγελίες επισκεφτείτε την ιστοσελίδα μας www.portara.com Το κατάστημα λειτουργεί υπό νέα διεύθυνση. New Greek TV scoured the streets of New York City to find the hottest Greek nights out there. Let's check it out ourselves. Where else can you find real authentic Greek entertainment in Manhattan? Let's check out Rafina ourselves. What's unique about your venue? What's unique? It's, I think, without being an egoist, that it's the only nightclub outside of the Greek community. Authentic Greek, authentic, 100%. And how do you keep it so ethnic in here? Because here we don't have a lot of Greeks. Our plates are not fancy, fancy, με γαρνιτούρες και έτσι, είναι φρέσκα, είναι μαγειρεμένα όπως κάποτε μαγειρεύαμε ελληνικά και η μουσική μας είναι ακριβώς το ίδιο. And most important, η φιλοξενία μας. Και αυτό προκαλώ να βρεθεί ένα άτομο να πει ότι μπήκε στη Ραφίνα, σε αυτή ή και στην προηγούμενη και ότι δεν ένιωσε ότι μπήκε στο σπίτι μου. Where do you source your Greek music and your live entertainment? Uh, well, uh, in America, in especially in New York, there are so many singers, good voices, beautiful uh, women, beautiful uh, men, and uh, most important, good voices. So we have a lot to choose. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for some very good singers out there, Rafina does not change singers often, like other nightclubs do. There's no need. If, if, if I find something good, I stick to it. And that's what makes Rafina unique. And how long has Rafina been around for? This Rafina has been around for four years, but we're going back another 13 years on the Upper East Side. And hopefully I have another 80, 90 years left, so I guess 
it's going to continue for another 80 or 90 years, something like that. And how many of your patrons are Greek that come in here? Um, now, during uh, the music, I would say uh, 95% at least, if, if not more. But uh, every race is welcome, and whoever opens my door who is not Greek, they come back because nobody, nobody uh, celebrates or nobody has uh, coffee like Greeks. Uh, I know it sounds it's a little prejudice, but that's how it is. We know how to, how to party. And do they come for the f food and the music? Just the music, just the food? Uh, I'm going to brag a little bit. The food is very fresh. I bring everything myself except the fish because I don't want my car to smell. You're laughing, huh? And the music. We leave nothing on the table. I am here to entertain people, and nobody does it better. I'm an entertainer. And what else would you like your Greek and Greek-American audience to know about Rafina? I just, uh, I just want them to visit Rafina once. And there is a warning. You visit Rafina once, you are going to be hooked for life. This type of entertainment can only be found at Rafina. Yamas. Yamas. All the best. If you're looking for traditional live Greek entertainment with a bit of kefi, you've got to go to Jimbo's. So what's with the name choice of Jimbo's? Jimbo's is a name that the place had when we bought it. It was pretty well known, so we kept it. How do you keep the kefi alive in there? Good food, good music, fun people. And are your singers direct from Greece? How do you source them? Uh, we have a couple of agents down there. They uh, send us a few pictures, a few videos, and we choose. And are you guys packed every night? Pretty much so. Pretty much so. Thank, thank God. And when was Jimbo's established? Actually, uh, Jimbo's was pretty much a dive. Uh, up until nine years ago when we uh, took over, we uh, changed the dress code on the waitresses. We definitely changed the food. Uh, we're very well known for our food. And uh, we're known for having fun. Uh, you come to Jimbo's, you're definitely going to have fun. And Jimbo's is a hidden gem in Astoria. How do you spread the word about your place? Well, we do have a website. Uh, actually, it's not Jimbo's Club or Jimbo's Bar. It's Jimbo's Greek Restaurant. Because, like I said, we're well known for our food. Uh, we have the website, uh, word of mouth. When you come here and you have a hell of a time, you're definitely going to tell your friends. So your friends are going to show up and they're going to tell their friends and their friends. Put a decent uh, way to be out there. And are there a lot of Greek Americans in there or mostly native Greeks? There's a lot of Greek Americans. There's a lot of native Greeks, but surprisingly, I would say tonight, half of the people in there are Israeli. They're having a good time with music. Greek music is very big in Israel. And uh, if you take a look at my place tonight, I would guarantee you half of the people in there are Israeli. And are you guys open every night of the week? No, actually, we have we, we open seven days a week. Lunch, dinner. Uh, we have uh, live music four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And I'm working on getting a Brazilian night every Sunday. And what kind of music do you play at lunchtime? Greek, all Greek. Caprice is 
one of the coolest Greek venues the story has to offer. Let's go inside and find out why. So Caprice is popping tonight. What's your secret? My secret? My secret is for everybody to have a good time. That's my secret. Play the new music, play the Greek music especially. And that's the key. And we hear that you're the DJ and the owner. How does that go? Well, I started out as a DJ when I was a little kid. And I grew up uh, into the business. And I started to, uh, I opened my own, my own place eventually. And it's been working ever since. And when did Caprice open? Caprice has been here since uh, 13 years. But it was something else prior to before. And what's the age group that usually flocks to Caprice? Well, uh, 23 and over, 22 and over, 21 and over. It's a mix, you can't tell. Depend, depends on the night, basically. And how often do you revamp the music? Uh, on a weekly basis. You have to, you have to keep up with the times. So much music coming out right now that even from Greece, you gotta keep on top of it. And they're mostly Greek, Greek Americans here. Do you have any other it's, groups that come? It's mostly Greek Americans. It's mostly, but you know, if foreigners come in, uh, they're gonna come with uh, their friends who, which happen to be Greek. And they usually come back 90% of the time. I heard that you have a 23 year and older age that goes in here. Yes, we do. We try to keep it as, uh, old, as old as possible. We try, but you know, 21 and over, that's good. Is there a chic dress code to get in here? Uh, it depends on the day. Uh, we like everybody to be dressed up neat. Uh, no sneakers on a Saturday or Friday night. Uh, you know, everybody has to be dressed up somewhat. And is the criteria for working here being Greek? No, definitely not. Definitely not. I mean, it helps, but uh, good help, uh, Greek help is hard to find these days. What else would you like your new Greek TV audience to know about Caprice? Well, Caprice uh, has been here for a long time. You know, we try to provide everybody uh, the best time possible. Uh, and they're gonna come in here, the best music. You know, the best bartenders. Uh, everything also is based on my uh, crew that I have here, uh, which, you know, your crew helps you a lot, whether it's security or uh, bartending or cleanup crew, everybody plays a role. Do you sell a lot of Greek liquor here? Uh, no. What do you mean by Greek liquor? Uzo and stuff like that? Uzo, yeah, yeah, Not as much, not as much, no. It's the basics, the whiskeys, the, uh, the vodkas. Everything's international now anyway. Are you having a great time at Caprice tonight? It's the best time tonight. This is the best club to come to in, in Astoria. Why is that? It's always packed. Don't look at it now. In, in about 20 minutes, you're not going to be able to move in here. How often are you here? In the winter time, I don't come that often, but summertime, I'm here every weekend. You think the DJ's good? The DJ is the best. This is one of the best clubs I've been to in New York. You like the mix of Greek and American music? I typically like Greek music more, but they play a good choice of American music in here. It, they do a good job. They keep this place popping. Is Caprice one of your favorite clubs? Yes. Why is that? Because it plays the best Greek music. How often do you come here? I live in Astoria, so pretty often. Why do you think it's so popular every night? Because it's got the best Greek music in Astoria. It's close to home, it's got good Greek music, it's got a good crowd, it's fun. Why are you at Caprice this Saturday evening? Oh, I love the staff here at Caprice, they're the best. If you're Greek, this is the place to be. Central is hands down the most happening Greek spot in Astoria. Let's go inside and find out why. So Jimmy Zimbabwe, you're the marketing director of Central. What does that entail? The life of Central, uh, we run around, uh, make sure all the Greeks and everybody comes around, has a good time, and uh, just make, every, make sure everybody has a good time. That's, that's our main goal. You know, nothing else, just make sure everybody has a good time and have fun, that's it. And you source Greek superstars like Ana Vici and Stevento to come perform here. How do you go about that? Ana Vici, uh, Keti Garbi, uh, Thanos Petrelis, uh, Stavento, Eli Kokinu, um, Saki Ruva, Remo, every, anybody you can imagine, we, we were lucky enough to bring here. Vegas, of course, too, was great. We just recently had them. Look, I have a great friendship with most of these Greek singers, you know, working through so many of these Greek um, 
talent companies coming, bringing these singers from Greece. I got to get involved with them and it created a door for me to do what I really love is bring Greek music to Astoria because I feel that the void is missing because we, you know, we're far away and you know a bunch of us go to Greece to so-called enjoy the Greek bazooka. But you know, what we can do is we try to bring the Greek music here so they can enjoy at least what they enjoy in Greece. Somewhat we do try our best to do that. You know, that's what we do here. And as a marketing director, how do you keep Central so packed every single night? It starts off with the music. Uh, we have an incredible DJ. His name is DJ Judge Jack. He, he's probably one of the most incredible DJs in New York City. Um, and we have a great DJs that come from Greece and they work here. Tasso Calidonis, Pandis Lipisianos, DJ Gogos. And we just try to bring as much as Greece as we can to um, Astoria. But the best thing for us is when we watch people who are not Greek that come here and they enjoy their dancing to Sifta Deli and stuff like that. And that's that's what, to me, is like, okay, that's cool. Because, you know, these people are from Israel or Italy and they're like dancing to Sifta Deli or, or Masai from Kogino or Anavisi, like, Telo, you know, all this stuff. It's it, it's incredible. That's That, to me, is like where it's worth, you know. And what's your goal as a marketing director for Central? My goal, I think, uh, my goal is, I don't know, I think my goal is to have Greek music seven days a week, but you know, it's hard, but um, I, want to, I want to bring back the 1970s of a, a Greek in Astoria where they used to break plates and our parents used to go out and stuff like that. I want to bring that whole genre back of Greek music because I feel like now it's, our Greek music is falling apart because it's falling apart in Greece, but if we, you know, we got to keep our culture alive, so we do our best we can. So Angela, you're the first Greek DJ from Greece to work at Central. How'd you end up here? I don't know if I'm the first Greek DJ from Greece. I think I'm the first female Greek DJ from Greece that came to Central to play music. And um, I decided to move here because uh, I wanted to progress my career. I did everything in Greece. I believe I reached the point where I said I did enough in Greece, so I want to chase my dream in the Big Apple. So I'm here. Do you spin mostly Greek or American music here? Well, basically I spin American music worldwide that I've been playing like in Thailand, in uh, Dubai, Australia, all around the world. But I really enjoy playing uh, Greek music. It's in my heart. Davrula, what brings you to Central this evening? Central, I've been coming here for 10 years, as long as it's been open. I love this place. I love the music. I love everything about it. What do you love about it specifically? Uh, just the people, the atmosphere, everything. Even almost like the food, everything is it's amazing. Do you feel like this is the Greekest place in Astoria? Definitely. Definitely. I feel like it's, it's a mix, but I still feel that Greek uh, culture in it. Why do you come to Central? Uh, the crowd, the atmosphere. Uh, nice to be around Greeks, nice to be around nice people. The music, you know, they put on a couple of Greek songs here and there. There's also good house music. I enjoy it. Is it more Greek music or house music these days? Uh, lately, I think they've been throwing in a lot of Greek music, especially, you know, I think there's more Greek people coming in. People want to hear where they're from, the same music, you know? Well, that's all for this year, guys. Join us again next season for more Calimera USA. Have a great summer.